All right, everyone. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solo a 160 liver the bomb. Um, this will be kind of like a stall build just to slow the husk down. So that way they are not um, able to break through and then they'll respawn. And we just basically will waste the time um, without having to go out and kill and fight and build all kinds of crazy structures. Uh, so this should make this uh, fairly easy for you in theory so um start with my hero loadout i uh, will show you i will be using uh ice king um ice king um if you've watched any of my pr previous videos it's the exact same but i'm just going to explain this anyway ice king in the lead to freeze the enemies we're going to run supercharged traps um but we're not going to be really damaging them so we don't necessarily need this um mega base kyle to increase the connectivity range uh, base Kyle for the increased building health. Um, our base Nox for the uh, regeneration of health on the builds every 10 seconds. Demolitionist Penny to increase the launcher damage, which we're not going to be shooting unless there's maybe a mini boss or something we need to go after. Um, and then Tough Traps, which will increase trap durability, uh, which is the Machinist Harper. And we'll be running Slow Field and Banner as well. So. Um, that's the loadout. Uh, we'll load into a 160 uh, deliver the bomb uh, right here and we'll show you how this goes. Okay, so for the sake of video time and you guys watching, I've gone ahead and located both the um, A and B portion of this, um, the launcher, uh, bomb deployer and the uh, launcher. So now I am going to connect the two. I've already deposited the blue glow and have my tracks and we're going to connect these. Connect, there we go. All right, so this is connected. So now we're gonna go ahead and just build the, the base here, um, build around this. Um, you will just need to build all the way around the launcher. And you have to leave this portion open so the crack is connected. And then build this out. We're going to build second layer. We built all the way around it. And we're going to place our base right here. Backside. Going to use this to get on top and place uh, some anti air on top of the base. So that'll just help with some of the lobbers. If any flingers or anything come in, that'll help there as well. And um, we can just go through here and build floors all the way around the base area. And we're going to edit these up like this. And this is just going to create an extra layer of protection from any husks that walk in. And uh, we're going to force them to move to this area here. This is the main focus, is this main area right here. This will be the focus. We'll block that off there. Then we need to block this area off. So we're going to put these um, little mini wall looking things here. This is going to stop Husk from moving. If they do happen to break through, they stop uh, moving from one area into the next and being able to walk all the way around the base. So this is just going to provide that extra layer of protection. So now once you've done that, go ahead and upgrade everything. you built the base up that you need. It's going to upgrade all of this. And 
Um, just for the sake of this area right here, we also want to stop anything from coming here. So we're going to go ahead and just build this, uh, this wall or floor and edit it into a wall. Make sure we've got that extra protection up there. Then something can go up there. We don't want them to. We want to try to deter them here. Okay, so we've upgraded all of this. Now um, you want to put sound walls. Um, I prefer my sound walls to uh, have healing attached so it continues to heal the walls. Um, it just helps increase uh, the efficiency, um, power base knocks and all of that. So take care of these and that down here. There's a few that still have not been updated that need upgraded that need upgraded. Those guys. I think the rest of this has all been upgraded, so it's fine. The second layer up there you don't have to worry about because nothing is gonna really go up there. It's just this bottom layer that you wanna make sure is is focused up so and then on the inside here I'm just gonna add a couple wall lights to the side you'll this will make sense later but right now we're gonna add those wall lights leave that area open okay so once we've done this we should be good I'm gonna increase uh, just the health of the inside of this actually no I'll save it we won't really need to we don't need to, to put wall spikes on the inside generally like to do that just on all of my bases to be on the safe side but you don't really have to do that for this and we're gonna start the mission If you, if you need to, like, let's say you're struggling to get the bomb um, to the launcher. Once you've laid out your path like this, you can build walls um, all the way around. You know, like a, just a tunnel. Use wood or anything to just kind of slow the husk down. Um, that was the wrong thing to do. It accidentally destroyed the... <clears throat> I didn't place my healing pad in time, but... Uh, you kind of get the point. You can build on either side and create a tunnel for the for the bomb to go through and move through. It helps just slow the husk down a bit. Um, you would want to do it before you start the the bomb, though. Um, I normally don't. I was just trying to show you, but that's why that's why I'm struggling instead of sitting here shooting these guys. You can build a tunnel like that and just um, slow them down. Um, all the way to but I, I try to save the mats and I just kill them. I don't normally do that I actually wouldn't have died there probably had I not been trying to to show you in the video that but that's just me I'm, I'm powerful enough to just you know, like I guess just take them on the, my power level and Not necessarily power level, but you know weapons and, and things like that. So um, But if you find that you're you know struggling a little bit um, you can build around, but you should be fine. If you can access a 160, then you should have plenty of power to handle these, I would think. So, get a good deatomizer or something helps a lot. So we got the bomb here. Now that's loading that in, go ahead and edit this to just have a, a window here. And then we're going to put a sound wall. Um, put sound wall right, right there. Okay. So you still have the, the window there, but you have the sound wall. You got all of these. Um, now we're good to go. So that's going to be the main area that we hope that they come in. The 
most of the storm is is pushing back here from this backside. Um, so we can bring them in here as well and create a jail on the backside. I didn't mean to place that one. Um, so we basically have a jail in the front, a jail in the back. Um, so you can have one facing the front if they try to go around the front, and then you have one facing uh, whatever direction they're coming in. And we're just going to uh, monitor both of these. So, got those. So, there we go. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put a strap there as well, just to help. So, that should be uh, all that we need to do there. Now we can um, load in and get in the front here and then start the launcher up. And we should be good to go. The main thing is just monitoring the walls. Um, I am going to place a uh, increased building health here for that, as well as this one, because this is the other tunnel that they're coming in. We're really just going to monitor um, these and make sure that we're good. Just kind of watch these. Um, should be good if if you need to, to jump up here and monitor from above, you can. Um, one of the reasons why I like to leave the, the window in, I, I should have done it on this side as well. Uh, it's just so you can shoot through it if you need to, like that, to just kind of relieve a little stress from the walls. Um, you can use a Xenon bow if you need to try to shoot through. Gotta just try to clear a few out, but you don't have to. You should, for the most part, be good to just sit here and just let it play out. So, you see on the mini map up there, we've got both jails where they're just kind of funneling in, so they're not so much on the sides. They're funneling into those to those jail areas. And that's what you want. You want them to just funnel in there and, and stay in those areas. And the sound walls and the wall lights help to keep them, you know, just kind of like not focusing the wall. Just keep them distracted for a little while. If it starts getting too much, you, you can you know, drop a slow field here. Um, something you can do as well. I knew I shouldn't have jumped into that smoke yet. I knew it would probably wouldn't be finished and I didn't drop my banner. So we'll have to run back over and hop in. our banner here as well that'll increase the health so now we'll at least respawn up there the lobbers are so ridiculous in this season with all this pink smoke and it stays around for so long so yeah it's still still pretty good there I mean, I haven't really done anything as far as killing them. You just kind of all them up until the time runs out. You know, Epic made it to where they despawn, but that kind of helps you to some degree because when they despawn, then it gives the walls time to kind of heal up in that time. So, I mean, it, it hasn't hurt, it hasn't helped. Just stand there and watch it's even easier if you have the, the storm coming from the front direction here because then you could just place the crap you know the jail area right there that's it 
super easy. Not very difficult at all. Easy 160. Um, yeah. So that's how you do it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you need a suggestion or would like to learn about something else, let me know. I love taking your requests for videos and uh, being able to provide hopefully some solutions to you. Um, let me know if this helped you at all, how you do with the uh, missions. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.